Hello, here at In America, we provide expert guidance on college and graduate admissions. At this time of year, many of our clients ask us about the best strategies for standardized tests. I'm Marcus Lewis, a senior college admissions consultant, and I wanted to discuss everything you should know about how to choose tests, which scores to send, and what your deadlines are for taking the tests. First and foremost, we should talk about an ideal test schedule versus a, let's say, unideal one. Ideally, all applicants would have reached their goal SAT or ACT scores by the end of their junior years. Thus, the only decision you would have to make is which test or test to submit. For that decision, it's important to consider a few things. First, does the school super score or not? Super score means that the college will look at all your tests but make a Frankenstein's monster of them. Your best verbal score might come from March and it might be mixed with your top math score from May, for example. For a super score test, you would write down your highest individual section scores on the common application and then make a composite of them yourself. You upload all the tests that you want the school to see, and then it's up to the school to actually do the super score itself. On the other hand, if the school does not super score and does not require all test dates to be submitted, you have a choice of sending more than one test or simply your best test overall. Uh, and then finally, some schools will simply require you to submit every test you ever take. This makes your decision easier when it comes time to apply, but makes your decision on which test date to take harder in the planning stages. Knowing a school wants to see all test settings should make it clear you do not want to retake the test too many times as you cannot bury a bad test score. Some colleges also do not want to see more than uh, two or three sittings. And in America, we can absolutely advise you on how many tests to take for your dream schools, what scores you should hit in practice before taking them, and when to sit for the real exam. Ideally, you'd reach your best possible score on just one or two sittings. As I mentioned before though, sometimes our best laid plans don't come to fruition. So what is the last possible date you can take a test and still get it to schools in time for applications? For early decision and early action deadlines, which are usually around November 1st, most schools will accept tests received no later than mid-November. Uh, that means you can only guarantee that a school will receive the October ACT or SAT tests. For regular decision schools, which have deadlines in January or sometimes even later, you can submit scores from December. Again, though, I would emphasize that you do not want to plan on the last possible deadline for these tests. It's better to have everything done earlier than too late. My colleagues and I in America will make sure your test schedule fits your needs and prevent the need from having to take a test um, at the last second. Regardless of which path you're on, you want to make sure you send schools your official SAT and ACT score reports, not just your self-reported scores. This requires you to log into your college board or ACT student account and choose specific score recipients. As long as the college gets your scores and your application while admissions decisions are still being made, you'll be fine. Uh, finally, as you may have heard, some programs have gone test optional in recent years. Um, notably, the University of California system has announced that it will not look at any tests, even if you send them. However, most schools still are either test required or test recommended. For the latter, that means you do need to decide whether or not scores are worth submitting. While there is no one size fits all right answer to that question, we can advise you on best practices. A high score can absolutely improve an application, but a low score may do the opposite, even for an otherwise strong application. Please let us at In America know if you have any specific questions. We're always happy to help.